What's up guys and girls, it's Alpaca Killer Productions here with another Fallout 76 video. In this video we are doing a Fallout 76 challenge. Uh, what this involves is us going straight from Vault 76 to join the Enclave. If you didn't know this already, rather than following the main quest line, you can go straight to the abandoned dump site, which is of course where you start the quest uh, bunker buster. And what that allows you to then do is just start the Enclave quest straight away. So the challenge is to try and complete this game as low level as possible. Uh, so I hope you like the video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Um, it's going to be a multiple um, sort of series. So what this means is that it's going to be three or four videos rather than making it one whole long production. So make sure you do hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when the next video is released. And I look forward to seeing your comments down below. So thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. So the first bit is the actual rules of this challenge. So first one um, is that I am not allowed to craft anything. So that is uh, any weapons, any armor, uh, any power armor as well, which means that I would have to go around and actually hunt for power armor parts to be able to survive uh, in there. So we're going to have to start looking for that. Second part is I'm not allowed to fast travel at all. So it's a bit like your old style Fallout 4 survival mode. Next one is if an item breaks, I have to drop it. I can not repair it and also I can't cook anything either so it means that I am going to have to eat all of the food raw or look for canned goods so that's the first rules and the rest of the rules are as follows uh, number five is that I have to go straight from vault 76 to the enclave uh, number six is that my friends cannot boost or help me so what that means is any friends that are online they can't come and help me by taking down higher levels ie XP boosting um, I'm not I am allowed to explore ie look for ammunition etc because of course I can't craft it but I can't XP farm ie boost my level to get as high as possible um, it has to be done naturally through quests and if I die, uh, in terms of actually the um, respawn point, it has to be back, not forward. So what that means is that if I die uh, and I say I'm traveling to White Springs, I can't then just fast travel to White Springs. So they are the rules for this challenge. Uh, I've tried to make it as challenging as possible. Uh, when this video gets released at the start, if you want to add uh, anything else in that you think might make it even more beneficial, uh, hopefully when I release it, the video hasn't been completed. So please do leave a comment down below and let me know if there are any extras that you would like to add. So once I left the vault, I met this character outside. Now, if anyone's played Fallout 76, you know that normally when there's nice high level people outside, that they'll normally drop you quite a lot of stuff. So I thought that I'd try and seize on this opportunity. Um, give a couple of little love hearts. Of course, even though I'm male, which is like bad. Yay. Yeah. That's not very nice really, is it? So then I decided he was ignoring me. So I decided it might be a good idea to grab his attention. Then he pulled his weapon on me and I got scared. So I then gave another love heart to say, please give me some stuff. And I realized that this guy just really wasn't interested in my dashing looks. So that was that.
now I've had my beauty sleep it's time to wake up and then what the hell is that it's a bear it's a bear it's a bad bear don't attack it do not attack it scare it off with your amazingly good looks hey it worked hey you piss off bear I am crystal the meanest person in all of Appalachia a few moments later they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand <laughs> So level 50 legendary scorch beast meet level 4 crystal. One eternity later. So, after multiple deaths, uh, I think it was probably about 15 to 20 in total, we finally made it to the uh, abandoned dump waste, which of course, hopefully all of you know, is the home to the Enclave. Um, now, if anyone knows this game and you've been here, most of you will probably be roughly about level, uh, I would say, sort of maybe 20, 30, maybe 40. Uh, we are currently level 5. Now, one of the first things that, you, of course, you are aware of when you enter the bunker is there is a death claw. So that was one of my first major concerns, or probably one of the first things that we'd have to uh, sort of navigate as such. And there he was. And just because the game's really nice, they've given me a level 21 two-star legendary death claw as well, just to make my life a little bit harder. So it doesn't matter. We're level five. Of course we could take this back. So what we decided to do was try and hit it with the syringer. And it ran towards me. And then it decided that I was way, way, way too overpowered for it with a shotgun and decided to run away. So that made life a lot easier.
So, guys and girls, that's it for uh, part one. Uh, really not a huge amount. This was about two and a half hours worth of gameplay in the end just to get to the bunker and start making my way to the White Spring bunker. So, um, for the next video, we will have, of course, us travelling to White Spring and quite a lot more. Uh, if you think there's better ways of improving this video, then please let me know in the comments down below. If you are new to this channel and you've managed to make it to this stage, then make sure you do hit that subscribe button and I'll hopefully get the next video out within the next couple of weeks. So, take Take it easy, people. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.